I'm going to show you how to make this sliding adjustable bracelet. First, I'm going to show you how to attach a drop onto a piece of chain permanently. Sometimes your chain is so fine and the hole is small that using a jump ring might not be strong enough because the, the thickness of the jump ring isn't thick enough. So here, what I've done is I've got fine wire, as thick as you can get it to go through your, your piece. In this case, um, I'm just using 26 gauge. And I've gone through that and I'm doing this. Make a loop. I've threaded the, the end piece that I want to do. And then what I do is basically I'm wire wrapping one end to it. Like this. And so basically I it's almost like wrapping a drop. But I've got this other end. And what I do then is put that through, hold on to it, and I'm wire wrapping several times like this. I'm gonna put this up close, see if you can see it. Basically, basically it looks like a figure eight and it's wrapped around, and then I just trim. There we have it, and it's tight. Now I'm gonna show you how to measure for a slip-on bracelet. I have the bead attached to a chain and now I have to measure and cut the chain to the right length. And I'm going to put it through. So basically I want a bracelet where I could then fit in and pull. And how I do that is everyone's different, but on average, you want to be able to go through easily where um, all the knuckles right here, that's the, the, the thickest part. So I'm just going to make it slightly thicker, I mean wider, so that I could put it through easily with one hand. And just in case, I add on a few centimeters, just maybe a, a couple centimeters. And there I have the length. And I'm going to measure again. Basically, I'm going to put this through, we're going to be pulling it afterwards, and I want to drop. But I don't want so much slack that it becomes long. Now that I've cut the chain, I use a piece of wire to thread through the chain, then through the bead. The reason why I use a piece of wire is it is virtually impossible to push chain through a silicone bead without assistance. And it's the same thing with doing ribbon. And I'm going to put a link here for another video to help the idea. So it will be a slip-on bracelet. And I just sl slide it on like this and then pull to adjust. And today I'm going to then wire wrap a side drill purl to the bottom of this. And if you want to add things in the front of the bracelet, like beads or charms that you want to thread through that could glide, add those before threading through the rest of the chain. I didn't film myself doing this wire wrap, but I'm going to leave a link at the top of the screen to show other wraps. And I could have used any sort of charm added onto a jump ring. Now that I have it done, all I'm doing is measuring and sliding onto the bracelet, onto the wrist like this, and then pull on it. And if you prefer, you can actually add a clasp to the side, and it sits like this. You do that by attaching the clasp onto the silicone bead, which will attach to the chain. And if you have found this video to be useful, please like and subscribe and I would love to hear your comments below.